you cannot make a system foolproof, but you can do the best you can to minimize um, occurrences like that. Mark Vega is the general manager of the McAllen Public Utility, which provides water for over 130,000 people every day. He says the water goes through a tedious process to ensure it is clear from any dangerous chemical. But that doesn't mean they shouldn't be prepared for an emergency. The reality is it can happen anywhere. That's the reality, and it would be uh, foolish to say that it cannot happen in McAllen or Houston or San Antonio because that's not true. However, Vega says strict regulations have been put in place in order to minimize the risk of any dangerous chemical getting into the McAllen water stream. Earlier this year, Flint, Michigan dealt with a water crisis. And Wednesday, Corpus Christi officials urged residents to not use the tap water at all after reports that it was contaminated by a chemical. In this map, you can see that Corpus Christi has been divided in three zones. So far, the areas in blue can utilize the water, but the areas highlighted in pink and beige are still advised to stay away from water sources. Actually, like my husband, you know, he's originally from Corpus Christi. Well, his family is, you know, is from over there, so, you know, it's devastating to see that. Vega says it is hard to say just how long it will take to fix the problem. Once something gets into the distribution system, then it spreads through the network of pipes. And so to limit that and see if you can flush that material out um, really depends on how far spread it went. In McAllen, water is supplied by two water plants. And just this plant alone can produce up to 48 million gallons of water a day. The water goes through 800 miles of pipeline in the presence of an unwanted chemical. So when something gets in there, and you see these things, these are, these are valves. So you can close these valves to stop water, and that's what kind of controls flow. Vega says McAllen's water is inspected every two hours to make sure it is not contaminated. In McAllen, Michelle Vargas, CBS 4 News and ValleyCentral.com. Well, residents in the Valley and city officials have gathered water bottles to assist other residents in Corpus with this crisis.